use sulfuric acid and nitric acid, fuming nitric acid, which will set rubber gloves on fire, and sulfuric acid obviously corrodes you. And uh, the fumes are nasty, and do this in a well-ventilated area. And do remember that our final product isn't energetic and does burn very rapidly. Of course, don't try this. <laughs> yeah. Hello! So, um, in this video, we shall be preparing... Preparing, um, flash paper by a new procedure which I have, um, developed, I guess you could call it that. Let me just find it in my notebook. There we go. Improved natural cells preparation flash power. And, uh, this is specifically flash paper. Um, it should work on cotton, but I do think there will be a few issues with using cotton. The procedure, if you want to read that. No. The idea is, after nitrating it for 30 minutes, instead of washing it, drying it, and nitrating again, you warm the acid up, which completes the nitration fully. So, to do this, you need sulfuric acid, fuming nitric, which is in the fridge right now, and one sheet of A4 paper. So, you take the paper, fold it in half, and uh, this is a good time to note that um, paper, most paper, are acid-free, so they have calcium carbonate or sodium carbonate added into it, which means when you add it into acid, it will foam a tiny bit, but that is no worry. However, that does cause issues with the nitration, but I'll show you how to get around those. Because I'm lazy, instead of cutting it properly, I'm going to cut the edge off, fold it in half again. And once again, cut these in half. There we go. And now, cut these pieces into evenly spaced, evenly sized pieces. Um, about one and a half inch. Four times. Cut it four times, and you will have, I think this is 19 or 18 um, pieces of paper. And uh, this is quite nice. So, now we're going to prepare the acid mixture. So, for this nitration mixture, you want 2 to 1 sulfuric acid to fuming nitric acid. And here I have the beaker on some ice right now to cool it down, because the, um, you want the acid to be cold in the first step. So, 50 milliliters of conch sulfuric and 25 milliliters of fuming nitric acid. So here's our acid mixture, so electron transfer, blah blah blah, you, you get left over with um, nitrate groups, not nitro, because these are, this actually technically isn't a react, um, nitration, but actually condensation or esterification. So I'm just going to cool this down, let me get a thermometer, Let's, uh, we just want it around 10 celsius or so. Okay, it's around 10 celsius, and that's good enough. So now it's the part where you start adding the paper. So. Um, we're gonna add papers one at a time, and we're gonna make sure they're thoroughly submerged. So, here's one. Submerge it. Yep. And now this is, and, um, you don't actually have to use, uh, stir rod anymore. So, from now, simply hold the beaker and swirl it, and add in the paper. One, and I drop one. Next paper. And here's the final three papers that I have. Okay, now that, you add, now that you've added all the papers, what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze it down a little bit. Compress the paper stack down, and you'll see there's a bit of foam. That's from the aforementioned carbonate react with the acid. And this usually causes bubbles in the paper, which make it ugly but usable still. However, I want to eliminate that, so we're just going to squash them down, and then agitate the beaker again and this just gets um, the acid between the layers there we go and you want to repeat this uh, every 10 minutes in the nitration we're gonna let this nitrate for 30 minutes in here halfway through um, use a pair of tweezers and pull the paper from underneath and then just flip the entire stack over and if the acid discolors to a bluish green color that's fine that's just some of, some of the other stuff leaching from the paper. As the acids soak in the paper, you'll notice splotches forming. And that's just the parts where the acid has wetted the paper completely. After three minutes, it sh they should all become translucent somewhat. Oh, and you must use fuming nitric acid for this, 
because 70% nitric acid appears to simply just dissolve the paper. Perhaps if you use like a 4 to 1 ratio or a 3 to 1 ratio of sulfuric to nitric, it will work, but few nitric acids easy enough to make, so yeah. So now is the part where this really starts to get fun. So, I set my hot plate to 35 Celsius. The top is still a bit hot because I was doing some stuff on it earlier. But we're just gonna heat this mixture up. Okay, so it is actually at 50 Celsius, but it seems to have not been doing anything. So I guess, yeah, it, um, nitrate at 50 Celsius, not um, for 30 or 40. This also seems to work better anyway, so yeah. And I have it sitting in a water bath for better thermal transfer. And there is the temperature, 50 Celsius. Okay, it's been now um, 30 minutes, so we're gonna pull it out now. As you can see, when it's warmed up, it feels quite a lot more. Anyways, we'll just pull these papers out. And I'm just gonna let it drain a bit. And into the water it goes. And just do the swirling trick to get the water in between the layers. Now I'm gonna decant this water off and add some fresh water. Okay, I've um, added some fresh water and I'm just gonna suspend it up in the water and we're gonna add some sodium bicarbonate. And immediately there's some fizzing. That's just from carbon dioxide formation from neutralizing any excess acids. And just give it a little swirl. Now I'm at the sink and we're just gonna rinse our papers out thoroughly. And I'm just gonna wash each individual paper a bit. There we go. And to dry it out, well, mostly, what I'm gonna do is just fan it. And that gets most of the water out. And as you can see, this stuff um, is no longer paper. It acts like plastic, even when it's wet. So that means we have successfully nitrated it. Now it's time to dry it. Usually when you dry this stuff, um, you will want to um, like heat it lightly on, a, on say a hot plate at um, 70 celsius and blow air over it or just leave it overnight. But I sort of had a stupid idea. Why not microwave it? That's a ball! <laughs> because well the microwave should just heat up the water and boil it off and just leave you with nitrocellulose which works yeah <laughs> so let's do that right now so i'm just gonna place these onto the dish otherwise it's a very effective method and possibly this will work with flash cotton or you know just got cotton 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 nitrocellulose which usually takes a lot of time to dry out and due to its cotton nature it soaks up water in its fibers and why am i having so much difficulty with this stupid dish there we go and I'm going to microwave it for a minute. And now we're going to keep a very close watch on it. Yep. They're dry, but they're... Well, they're dry to touch. But I do want to microwave them a bit further to completely fully dry them. So, we're going to do that. So, we're going to microwave it for another 10 seconds. And that should be um, perfect to fully dry it. There we go. And these are, in fact, perfectly dry. While I'm waiting for those to dry, you can see here's our dried product. If this stupid lighter decides to work. <laughs> There we go. As you can see, this stuff burns with a very good burning, a uh, very good burn, and it does the expected foosh it does. So I'm gonna light it and toss it up. Ah. Let's use a different one. It does the flash it does. 
very pretty. Although, um, if you do it right, it makes a really loud thunk sound, and it's really cool. Small piece of it. Put it in there, and blast it. And we'll see if it catches on fire. <laughs> the most scientific test ever. So, so far, nothing. I really doubt it's gonna do anything. If it does, I'll cut through the clip right now. Uh, yeah, nothing's gonna happen. So that's good to know. The plate is very hot though. Don't know why that's that, that's doing it. But, oh well. And let's just burn burn this for fun. Ooh. You can see it leaves a tiny bit of residue, which means um this is not perfectly, perfectly, perfectly nitrated. You could probably achieve that by heating it to 70 Celsius and then um, leaving there for an hour or two, but I'm not going to. So here's our nitrous cellulose. And here's our total batch. And if you're wondering, yes, you can reuse the acid for another two batches. Uh, after that, sort of doesn't really work well. Yeah. Now that we have our product, let's play with it, of course. So let me just open this can. Your classic flash. Throwing it. Let's try that again. Whatever this is. Whatever this is, but done even better. The classic, it disappears before it hits the floor trick. A meteor. Whatever this is, but done even better, even better. Flashbang your enemies. Throwing it again because I am um, I'm bored. Throwing it up. Now you didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> Lighting it and throwing it on a table. Yeah, that's boring. And some ashes. Lighting it and then throwing it randomly. Fire confetti. Multi shot. Multi shot the larger pieces. Magically appearing matchbox. Magic. See, there's a matchbox now. Sticking it on top of a trimethyl boring ooze bottle. That was disappointing. Let's try that Sticking again. on top of a trimethyl borate boosh bottle with, um, proper stoichiometry. <laughs> Sticking it on top of a 1 liter trimethyl borate boosh bottle. And yeah, if you couldn't tell already, I'm already out of ideas, and I burned up most of the flash paper we made today anyways. Uh, did I? Hmm, I don't know. But I still have some left, so I'm gonna save it. But yeah, that's it for this video. And, um, this is sort of my magnum opus of a nitrocellular synthesis. So, um, yeah, I guess, guess that's it uh, in this video. Uh, see you in the next one! And I hope you enjoy this one, and yeah. yeah. <laughs>